Hi there, so after having now 12 months of solar generation, and if you haven't seen my last video about all of the stats for the last 12 months, have a look up here, and it should be up there. Uh, I thought I'd have a look at the original MCS calculation that my installers did on the initial quote uh, to see if what they thought I was going to get is actually what I've been getting over the last 12 months. So whenever you get a quote from a solar installer, you should get lots and lots of pieces of paper. But within there, you should see an MCS uh, calculation method like this one. Now, this is a predicted um, system performance calculation telling you how much your solar system uh, should generate during 12 months. So this one is an example. This isn't mine at the moment. This was taken from an initial quote that I had um, that I just wanted to show you this example. Um, later on, as I messed about with the system and what exact panels I wanted and what um, exact inverters I wanted, they didn't then recalculate all of the package of, of documents again. They just kind of sent me the changed quotes, which I don't blame them for doing that at all. So let's just have a look at this one. So for this uh, MCS, uh, predicted calculation input one was going to be 10 355 watt jinko panels and input two was going to be five uh, 355 watt jinko panels although in the end i only went for four on my east roof because i couldn't fit five on um, and the give energy uh, inverter was going to be a 3.6 kilowatt hybrid inverter in this example so as i was going for two sides of the roof we've got input one and two so you can see there from the capacity of 3.55 um, kilowatts on input one and 1.775 on input two so the south roof on input one and the east on input two then it tells me the orientation from south 14 degrees and 76 and then the degrees from horizontal of the roof pitch, so 35 degrees on both, my postcode region, and then we get into the calculations in section B. So the interesting part here is actually um, what those two inputs will give. So the shade factor, there was no shading on either sides of this uh, roof, and the estimated annual output per input, 3387 on the south, and 1452 on the east. So in total, with those two add, uh, numbers added up, we come to an estimated output in this example of 4839, 4839 kilowatt hours per annum or per year. So that was based on one of the first quotes I got, um, but I decided then to go for a solar edge inverter uh, on the PV side as opposed to a give energy hybrid inverter. So in the end, I went for 14 Jinko 390 watt panels, 10 on the south and four on the east, and then a four kilowatt uh, solar inverter from Solar Edge, and then a three kilowatt AC inverter from Give Energy along with their eight kilowatt uh, Give Energy battery. Although I'm pretty sure that my 14 panels are 390 Jinko watt panels, which add up to 5.4 kilowatts uh, all over my system uh, the installers seem to have put 5.6 everywhere so 5.6 on the installed capacity and even in the solar edge screen uh, it says peak power 5.6 so I don't know really why they've put that 5.6 in there unless they've put installed 400 watt panels although I was billed for 390s now as I didn't get um, a whole quote pack again because I kept messing around with my system I actually found these this detail on the MCS um, certificate in the end so luckily <laughs> I, I discovered this so it should be on your MCS certificate estimated annual generation so as we saw a lower figure starting with a four on that previous quote uh, my actual system uh, was quoted to be 5,125 kilowatt hours per year. 
So I can now tell you that the actual annual generation that I got in my first year uh, in kilowatt hours was 6,219. So I'm glad to say a lot more than the 5,125 that was estimated on the uh, MCS calculation. So a good sort of 1,000 kilowatt hours more than was estimated. So I'm very happy about that. If you're interested to see this from the solar edge uh, screens this is the roof and the four on the east and the ten on the south um, the great thing with these optimizers is that i can see what each panel is up to within the solar edge software so 6.25 megawatt hours on the top there i rounded it down in the in the previous slide um, but each panel, as you can see there, if, you, if you're interested, that is, each panel was getting about 472, 473 uh, for the year on the south side. And on the east side, each panel was getting about 385, 386 um, kilowatt hours for the year as well. Just so you can see the difference between the east uh, four panels and the 10 on the south. So that was it. The MCS calculation was lower, so I'm actually getting more out of my panels than was actually predicted. So that's brilliant. Uh, let me know in the comments below how you've been getting on after your kind of first 12 months or subsequent years. And if you've actually been matching the MCS predictions or actually getting more. Hopefully it's not too far off their figure. But thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you did and subscribe to the channel, of course, and I'll speak to you soon.